But first, we got to watch Rudy Streck try to take on the number one wrestler in the heavyweight division, Gable Steveson. And Steveson, I mean, we can talk. We can just talk all day long about all the accolades that he's put together over just his one and a half years here at Minnesota. He's only a sophomore, mm -hmm. but he's so accomplished as he gets a quick takedown. I mean, he. I think he was born to wrestle. This is a guy, yeah. you look at him, you say he was born to wrestle. Four-time state champ in high school. He only lost three matches through his entire <laughs> high school career. I mean, I don't know how you can compete with that. It's remarkable. And, and the big thing about in the heavyweight class is when you get on top, it's tough to get, uh, get out because it's just the weight. And you see how he's just dominating Streck from the get-go. Going for the quick fall, Streck doing everything he can to avoid it. He will avoid the fall right there. It was a question of how long can he. And Stevenson going right back for it. Yeah, he's just working on readjusting that cradle and getting in a position where he can put both shoulder blades on the mat just like that. And Six there seconds. it is. There it is. Not even a minute. The number one wrestler in the heavyweight division, Gable Stevenson, will pin IU's Rudy Streck. And that's, that's four falls in the match for Minnesota as they take a huge lead, 32 to 0. Yep, and that, that does completely, uh, barring any point infractions like control of the mat or coach misconduct, that does completely uh, lock up the mm -hmm. duel for Minnesota. Yeah, and it must be just very tough to go up against 